Hey parents, Danny Strecker again from Skills Dynamic Martial Arts and I'd like to welcome you to our next video in our series. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of a different approach today. I had a great conversation with a mom uh, and this is the, the only one. It comes up quite often. Her uh, three-year-old just started classes with us. And one of the key elements is, is the child's pretty stubborn. You know, they didn't really want to do anything uh, that we were doing in class. He only wanted to do the favorite parts that he liked um, and then wanted to sit down and not do anything else. So uh, obviously the mom was pretty frustrated with him and saying, you know, gosh, this is why we're here. We really want to get rid of this stubbornness. And one of the things that I enjoy in working with parents is, you know, basically being able to change their mindset. And so this is one of the classic examples. One of the first things is really you can't be too frustrated that your child is behaving the way they are. I call it the apple and the tree syndrome. Apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. The child has learned the behavior from somewhere. So either mom has taught it to him or dad has taught it to him or both have taught it to him. So if you have a stubborn child, 99% likely either you or your spouse are pretty stubborn and that's what your child has been able to pick up on and that's the personality that they start to develop. Now, the other good thing, important thing about this is while you look at this as a negative right now, you know, my child's stubborn, they're a picky eater, um, they, they don't want to do things that we ask them to. Naturally, your first instinct is going to be, wow, this is frustrating and I really hate this behavior. One of the things that we do here at Skills Dynamic Martial Arts is we look at the big picture. Being stubborn is actually a great thing. Think about it, as they get a little bit older, they're not gonna fall prey to peer pressure, right? They're gonna be able to stand up and say, no, I know what's right, I know what's wrong, I know what I want, right? This is how I feel. And they're gonna be able to stick to their guns and not be worried about it. So all too often, what happens is what you see as a potential negative behavior isn't a negative behavior right now. So the worst thing you can do is try to get rid of that behavior from your child. Instead, we wanna enhance that behavior, right? So what we try to do is we create circumstances that the child is able to practice other behaviors out of that opposite. So a much, so again, going back to yesterday, child was stubborn, didn't really wanna do anything in class. So, you know, okay, we're doing exercises. Didn't feel like doing that. We're doing some punches and kicks. Didn't feel like doing that. Hey, you know what? Here, kick the shield right away. Child jumps up, wants to do this, feels great, high five, and is, you know, high five and is jumping all over the place. Now, the key to that is I need to find the way to encourage them to participate. It's not up to them to engage us. And all too often, that's what we expect. You know, you want the child to just suddenly jump on board, do what you're doing, expect them to uh, enjoy doing it and want to participate right out of the gate. That's not the case. So. Take behaviors that your child is doing right now, look, see where they develop them from, and if you really don't like them, if they are a real negative behavior, then role model it. Role model the change and do better yourself. Once you start doing better yourself, your child will start to role model that better behavior. But more often than not, don't see these behaviors as negative. Instead, look bigger picture and get an idea of what is it and how can we apply this in a positive way now, right? So if they're too, too stubborn and they just won't do anything, naturally we wanna bring them back to the middle just a little bit, right? Another aspect is we say hard and soft. Some kids are just way too soft. They get their feelings hurt if you look at them cross-eyed. So they're gonna be way over here and be way too soft. Same thing, we don't wanna get rid of that. That's a great characteristic, right? But what we wanna do is we wanna bring them back a little bit more to the middle right? So that they don't get their feelings hurt all of the time. Somebody with a really soft heart, you see a philanthropist developing, right? You're going to see somebody that's going to help change their community and possibly the world because they care so much. On the hard side, you've got kids that are just selfish, self-centered, and they don't care about anything but themselves. Again, we like to bring them back into the middle so that that way they care a little bit more. But guess what? you've got a really hard worker on this side, right? Somebody who's gonna be very uh, motivated and goal-oriented in their life. So they're probably going to excel at a lot of the things that they do. So one more time, don't see behaviors as positive or negative right out of the gate. Try to take a step back and look at the bigger picture and what can you do to enhance those skills and where are they gonna be their strong points as they get a little bit older. 
right? Hopefully this helped you out. If it did, please do me a favor, share this with other parents, leave a comment below or like the video, and that way I'll be happy to continue on the topic. If you have a child that is frustrating you at the moment, please feel free, give me a call. I'd love to talk to you about it. Stop by the karate school. Again, we love to have visitors come in and watch class. We love to talk to parents on the phone. Um, I'm in several parent groups on Facebook. So whatever way you like to communicate, reach out. Let me know how I can help you. Have a great day.